so it would just dig in and like pinch a lot and it's actually even worse on this side. Itchy and rough. Why are we launching bandeaus without any silicone to line the bra? This was quite possibly the biggest disappointment of the entire collection. Hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is super, super highly anticipated, I would say. I think this is probably the most highly anticipated review video for Buff Bunny Collection that I've done in a very long time. And look, I don't like to throw around the word favorites. Favorites is a trigger word of mine because before I started doing reviews, I would constantly see people throwing around the word favorites for like 12 consecutive collections in a row. And I'm like, guys, every single collection is your favorite? Really? Every? single collection is your favorite, the word starts to lose meaning, right? I don't think I've said that about any collection from Buff Bunny Collection ever. The reason why I'm talking about this is because whenever I was on live for like unboxing the collection and whatnot, I really had to think, like I know this is my favorite collection, but have I ever thought that about anything else before? And the two that come to mind after me watching my reviews back was the Off The Grid collection as well as Naked. And what those two collections have in common is that the color palette was very neutral, very wearable, something that I personally feel matches a lot to my own personal style. This collection, I would say by far, by far, far out of the entirety of the year and some change that I've been working with Buff Bunny Collection for is my favorite, hands down. If this is number one, two and three are like so far off the spectrum that they're like, you gotta kind of squint to see where number two and three is. That's the first time I think that I'm actually throwing that out there because I feel like it has something for everybody, truly. So with all that being said, with this being so highly anticipated, it's gonna be a longer review than usual. I. I already feel it, so <laughs> let's just dive into everything that you need to know about this launch. I'm gonna be referencing the collection PDF, which if you are a part of my Discord community, you would have already seen it like last week because I posted it as soon as I got it. I'll put the link to my Discord down here if you haven't joined already, but we talk all things gym, activewear, sneak peeks. I am constantly <laughs> posting sneak peeks in my Discord community and any graphics that I create, I typically put them in there as well. So definitely join if you haven't already, we have a great time. But anywho, let's talk details about the boyfriend collection starting with the launch date. This collection launches on Saturday, March 2nd at 1 p.m. Central Time. In regards to the actual campaign, right, I'll put the video up here that they posted over on their Instagram, but I love everything about it. It talks so much about the stigmas and expectations and pressures that are put on women to conform to society's standards, to settle down, find a man, make babies, etc., etc. But we need to look inwards and look deeper to realize that the most important love is self-love. You need to love yourself first and put yourself first before pouring it into your loved ones. I just love the messaging behind that so much. It just really sets the tone for how beautiful this collection is and how empowered it makes you feel whenever you have it on because at least for me, I love almost everything in this collection and I just can't wait to dive in. So let's go ahead and do just that. Colorways that are launching in this collection, a lot, if not majority of them, we have already seen in the Genesis collection. I don't know if Genesis was supposed to be like a part one to the rest of the collections in this season, if you may, because it seems like Genesis, Buff Pups, the Butter Capsule, and then now the Boyfriend collection have a lot of very similar, I mean, not similar, literally the same colorways from the color palette that we've seen ever since the first collection of this year. So colors like Mocha Berry, Chai Latte, Berry Ice, Bone, Moody Blue, we have all seen before, but there are a couple of more fun colorways in here such as the rose blush, pink, and then a couple other tones of brown aka in cappuccino, chamomile, and frosted berries. So a lot to play around with. Let's move on to fabrics. We have the Butter Nubri and New Threads fabric. I'm not going to go into detail about what these fabrics are. I'm going to save that for the actual review portion because I plan on dividing up the review by fabrics anyway. So as we move on to the review, I'll start off that portion with the specific fabric that I'll be referencing to in the pieces that I'll be sharing with you guys. All right, on to the meat and bones of everything that is launching in this collection. So I'm just gonna post the pictures of the PDF up here for you guys to see, but starting off with bottoms, we have the new girlfriend legging. So it has a faux V seam. It's made of Nubri and oh, I just love this legging so much. We also have the legacy legging making a comeback, which is what I'm wearing right now in the shorts version. The Rosa boot cut legging, which is new. I personally, as y'all know, am just not the biggest fan of the Rosa legging, Rosa shorts in general. So 
I did not pick this up. It is a ultra high waisted legging, but the bottom kind of flares out a little bit. I mean, it's not even really a flare. It's essentially just like a baggy legging, it seems. We also have the Dream Heathered legging making a comeback. This was first seen in the Genesis collection. Moving on, we have the new Waffle Knit legging. So this is a knit jacquard legging. I have heard a lot of things about it snagging. Basically what I'll do is at the end of the actual review of the things that I have, I'll go in and talk about the pieces that I don't have and just like a little snippet of things that I've heard chit chatter here and there from the other athletes just so you guys are aware of what to expect. Next up we have the Colorado pocket legging which I do have. It is a fleece lined legging and this is my first time trying a fleece lined legging period so I was super excited to get these in. Last but not least we have the BBL seamless legging making a comeback. There are no changes to this legging so all the changes that we've seen ever since basically Black Friday are still the same changes and whatnot. Moving on to sports bras we have the new girlfriend sports bra which I do have up here hanging on the rack. The back is you know very similar to the crop shop boutique sports bra. I feel like that's just kind of a silhouette that a lot of brands are adopting nowadays. We have the Ivy wrap sports bra which is what I'm wearing right now. A mix between the Ivy crop top as well as the candy wrap sports bra. One of my favorite sports bras in this collection by far it is so dainty so girly makes me feel like a little princess and <laughs> we love it. The revolution sports bra is also making a comeback. Dream heathered sports bra as well as the new waffle knit bralette which is the matching sports bra to the waffle knit legging. Moving on because we are still going you guys we have the Colorado crop putty the shape seamless sports bra which does feel different than the previous seamless sports bra and I'll talk about that in a second here plunge butter bra which is a little bit scandalous I actually was supposed to wear this bra to intro this video but after I wore it I was like okay I don't think I can. It's a little bit too boobalicious. We also have the Legacy 6 inch short coming back, which is what I'm wearing right now in chai latte and mocha berry. Mocha berry is like one of my favorite colors that they've ever, ever done. I love her so much. We have the Hot Girl Run Short Dream Heathered Bodysuit, which I did not pick up. Airnet Bandeau, which is the first bandeau that they've launched in years. The Airnet Bolero Shrug. Boyfriend Button Up Colorado Zip Jacket, which I did pick up. A couple of t-shirts, socks, belt bags, scrunchies, just a lot of accessories as a whole. The next collection I'm about to talk about is called Threads and Threads was supposed to be different but I think in order to really complete the essence and storytelling of this collection they had to include it in there in addition to some accessories for layering pieces and whatnot so the collection is very much giving like holistic to give you a piece of every single thing that you could possibly need in your gym girl athleisure wardrobe so the Threads mini capsule this is a new lounge fabric for Buff Bunny collection which again I will talk about later in the review but we have the Threads quarter zip crop hoodie zip hoodie, jacket, jogger sweatpant, and straight leg sweatpant. So there is so much launching at this collection. I feel like I was just rambling on the entire time because there truly is a little bit of something for everybody. Last but not least, I'll post this picture up here that they provided in terms of little styling tips and whatnot, and then the Q&A portion of things that have changed or stayed the same. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that is launching in this collection, you guys. Um, I do have a couple color comparisons for all of the browns, more neutral pieces, I'll post that color comparison up here for you guys to see. And then for Moody Blue, I will also post those comparisons for you to see as well. And something that I'm going to start doing is incorporating colors from other brands within the color comparison section as well, because I'm constantly getting questions from you guys for me to compare a color from Buff Bunny collection to like Vitality, for example. So I went ahead and did that for you guys, and I really hope that helps. And once again, if you find this review helpful, then code Tracy will save you 10% off. I will go ahead and put my measurements somewhere up here on the screen. As always, I will put my sizing down in the description for every single piece that I talk about. So with that being said, let us officially move on to the try on haul portion. All right, so like I said before, I'm gonna divide this review up into different sections with the sections being the fabrics. I'll introduce the pieces within that fabric and then so on and so forth. So with that being said, the first fabric that we have is Miss Newbury. This fabric is not new to Buff Bunny Collection by any means. They launched it a couple years ago. It's been a fan favorite because it's just so freaking good. It's so good that they trademarked it. They put that stamp on it, you know what I mean? This fabric is very much a dense brush fabric, not as lightweight as Vitality's Cloud 2. Nothing like Paragon Fitwear's Reluna fabric at all. This is very powdery, a little bit on the denser side, and very plushy feeling, I would say, as well. Overall, the fabric is just very, very soft on the skin, very comfortable. Let's move on to the actual pieces that I have in this fabric, starting with what I'm wearing. So I have the Ivy Wrap Sports Bra here in the color Berry Ice. This bra is so 
so beautiful. I'll go ahead and put the pictures up here for you guys to see, but it's essentially a mix of the Ivy crop top, which is like an OG piece to Buffini collection, as well as the candy wrap sports bra. My only qualm about that bra is the fact that it was a more long line sports bra on me. Every single time I wore that bra, the bottom band would kind of like hit the bottom of my back. It was so long and I was just waiting for the day that they launched it in a short line version. And guys, the day is here. It still has the very beautiful details of the wrap portion, but there isn't a plunging V by any means. It has more so of a straight-ish neckline, which kind of like slightly dips down in the middle, but the coverage is obviously a lot more than the candy wrap sports bra. I think there's about an inch or so between the actual height of the bust portion, but fits and feels the exact same. Whenever I turned this inside out, you could even see that like all the way down to the stitching of the bra pads and whatnot are the exact same as the candy wrap sports bra. These straps are also on the thinner side as well, kind of mimicking the ivy crop top, but the stitching of the straps are actually a little bit different, and I do like these straps a lot more because on the ivy crop top, you can see that the stitching is a little bit exposed, whereas this, it's kind of like folded in and then sewn on the inside. So it's a lot softer on the skin, a little bit less abrasive. I don't think I felt any itchiness from the ivy crop top at all, but if there was a preference for the straps, it would definitely be with these. Um, there is ample stretch on the straps and these straps are adjustable as well so they do not dig into the traps game test for you guys i feel very safe and secure in this sports bra nothing is digging in nothing's hanging out there's no gaping there is ample coverage on the side boob area as well so really like the design so far and the bottom band the fabric is just basically folded and stitched on the inside so there's no abrasive seams or anything at all but turning to the side and then the back you have the buff buddy collection rubberized raised logo on the left hand side but the back mirrors exactly <laughs> like how the ivy crop top is with that like crisscross stitching in the back and I just think this bra is gorgeous it is so beautiful and I feel like you can actually wear this out as well with some like high-waisted jeans or something a little blazer a little blazer some blush colored heels would be so freaking cute I would say that if you're in between sizes then to go up the reason why I say that is because if you were to size down I feel like the overall bust coverage would be less seeing as the material would be less you would get a lot more side boob and like armpit fat hanging out if that's something that is of concern to you this bra already is I would say like a solid medium support on me like there's obviously bouncing but nothing's like you know, really weighing down super heavy. So yeah, solid medium support, size up if in between sizes, but otherwise it's very, very true to size. Oh wait, I will say, okay, the only thing about this bra that actually bothered me a little bit was that the back ring right here, it's digging into like right where my lat muscle is. So whenever I'm doing any back movement that requires for me to like row, you can see where my muscle is kind of like digging into that circular ring right there. And it actually was pretty itchy. Like I, I felt myself scratching my back a couple of times. Yeah, it's just kind of like pinching right there where my skin is meeting that circle. So that was a little bit annoying. And because of that, that's also why I would say to size up if you're in between sizes. Moving on to the bottoms that I'm wearing, we have the Legacy 6 inch short in the color Mocha Berry size extra small. This is my favorite color that they have ever done. I know I mentioned that earlier, but I had to say it again because dude, look at this color. It's just so beautiful. It's giving like a mauvey, purpley, brown colorway, and it just goes so well with honestly, any of the other like brown pinky type of colorways that are launching in this collection. I just love her so much, but the Legacy 6 inch short is nothing new. We've seen this before and I think they launched it for the first time last January and the Storm collection. So they've been bringing it back ever since, but we just need, we still need more colors, guys. Like we still need more colors in the six inch because this is just the way to go, y'all. It is a ultra high-waisted legging. So I typically don't like ultra high-waisted leggings because as you see, my torso is a little tree stump. So this just looks extremely high-waisted on me, which is why you'll see me roll this down an inch or so to hit at the smallest portion of my waist. But this is just how I like for it to be. And I just like the extra length on the six inch because it allows for you to roll it up to whatever length you want it to be at. Very comfortable legging, definitely thick thigh friendly. There's no digging in or anything at all. And what I love about this legging and about the Nubri fabric as a whole is that nothing is sliding down, nothing's riding up. It just stays put wherever you put it. The design in the front is rather simple. There's nothing crazy going on here. It just has a straight across seam, no front seam, so no camel. It has the tri-seam detail that we see on the Legacy leggings as well. It sits above your glutes, so it just adds a little bit of 
interest, a little bit of detail that isn't too like in your face at all. Love me the short so much. It comes in once again, leggings and the six inch short version. And I just can't say enough good things. Okay, before I move on to this next beautiful outfit, I must say, look at this bag. This is where that circular ring was and it's red. I'm telling you, it was so itchy there. And I was like, why is it so irritating? It's literally because the circle ring would be right where my lats were. So it would just dig in and like pinch a lot. And it's actually even worse on this side. So you could just see, right? It's red, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Yeah, definitely had to make a note of that because you can see how it's affected my back now, so. <laughs> Hello, editing Tracy from the future here with a little update. I did ask the athletes in the GM if they've experienced any of the same issues that I did and only one of the other athletes did. She mentioned that it irritated her just slightly, but it wasn't nearly as bad as how it looked on me with how it irritated my skin. So I was thinking that the solution to this is to just adjust the strap to a lower setting, right? So that way it sits a little bit looser on me. The back of the bra would then sit a little bit lower on my back. So that way the circular ring isn't sitting like directly where my lat is contracting. But I will say that like whenever I adjusted this bra, it was at the perfect setting. It wasn't too low. It wasn't too high. The back band was like completely straight. So I think it'll just look a little bit weird for like the back band to be a little bit lower. So therefore the bra is just kind of like shifting backwards and, and downwards, if that makes any sense. So I don't know. I, I don't know how to like alleviate this. I think it's just a, you know, anatomy thing to each their own type of thing. I don't want to rule the bra out because I love this bra, but I think I'll just have to adjust it to a lower setting for these straps and whatnot and then just have the bra sit a little bit lower on me as a whole so that way it doesn't you know irritate me so yeah that's my little update Moving on to our next new Brie set, we have the Girlfriend set. So let's start off with the sports bra. This is the Girlfriend sports bra in the color chamomile and chai latte in the reverse side in a size small. Now, like I mentioned, there are two colors here, so it is reversible. This colorway, I just wanted to pair it with chai latte so you guys can see what that color mix and match looks like. This bra is very boobalicious. I was honestly a little bit nervous for this sports bra because I was like, dude, look, it's gonna be another like double twist bra situation where there isn't a bottom band and it's just gonna ride up. But guys, I worked out and did back in this, which is so unhinged of me. But I did back, I was doing pull-ups the whole nine yards. And guess what? As you can see, there's no riding up. I don't know how they did it. I need them to do it for the future sports bras or to like do whatever they need to do with a double twist sports bra to not let that happen because there's no riding up whatsoever. I could do so many things in the sports bra and be just fine. There's no riding up, no under boob showing. Like, what? And the side coverage is so ample. Nothing is hanging out, nothing's falling out. I love the sports bra so much. I just can't believe that there's a plunging bra with no bottom band that actually doesn't ride up. I'm kind of shook by that right now, but anywho, I digress. This is what the bottom band is looking like. So once again, it's very similar, if not the exact same, to the double twist sports bra in the sense that it's just the fabric being folded on the inside and then being sewn in there. So you can't really see any of the seams whatsoever hanging out. It has thin straps that go all the way to the top and once again is in the color chai latte and once you turn to the back you have this whole crisscross back csb doop situation where they cross and then the back band also crosses as well just a super open back type of sports bra and i love it because back day the back was backing i'm not gonna lie to you but these straps are very very stretchy but they are non-adjustable unfortunately i don't feel any digging in my traps whatsoever they lay very comfortably i didn't take the tag off i know that looks really like but I didn't take it off because I wanted to show you what it looks like. So as we can see, there are two thin threads that are attached to this tag. So that way, whenever you cut it, it's just very seamless and you don't see any of that tag whatsoever. Because this bra is reversible, there are no cut pads. Basically what I did was put like little nipple covers on. So that's what you're seeing right now. That's why there's no like head lice, no nippage whatsoever. Because there is friction against the silicone, there's no sliding around at all. So like y'all saw, as I was doing my little pull-ups, like waving my arms around, whatever, nothing was like peeking through. If you are a free the nip girly, all the power to you, but I can't do that. Let's go ahead and do the gate test like I mentioned before. Love. Ain't nothing, nothing's falling out, nothing's at risk whatsoever. 
We'd love to see it. The bottoms that I have to match with this sports bra are going to be the Girlfriend Legging in the color Chai Latte, size extra small. Now this legging is definitely one of my favorites that are launching in this collection. I think the design is so beautiful. It's just so simple, but just with a little bit of like something, you know what I mean? So this is once again made in the Nubri fabric, but it does feel different than the Legacy short. I don't know why, but it just feels a little bit on the thinner side, a little bit less dense. And so I don't feel like overly hot. I don't typically gravitate to legacy leggings at least. I like wearing legacy shorts but the leggings just sometimes feel a little bit too constrictive on me but with this I feel like they just removed one layer of the density to it and also just took out the constrictiveness a little bit more to where this is I would say a solid light to moderate compression on me. Like everything is fitting very very stretchy while not making me overheated. This honestly does feel just a tad bit thicker than the butter legging. Like if there was a middle in terms of density compression, rushness, I feel like it would be this. I don't know, but anywho, let's just talk details about this legging. Once again, a very simple silhouette. Just has a high-waisted waistband with that V taper seam in the middle right there, as well as this faux V seam in the middle where yes, there is a little bit of that dip down, but there's no like crossing of the fabric or anything at all. The waistband is already tapered in addition to that. So I just love how this fits. The inner band does have a top seam just at the front, but once you get to the middle portion, as we can see there, it kind of cuts off right at your side and then turns into a double line seam all the way in the back. So there's no seam back here whatsoever. So overall, super simple silhouette other than that cross waist, no front seam whatsoever. And I am not experiencing any camel. This legging is, I believe a 26 inch inseam. So it's hitting me kind of at a seven eighths length. I honestly feel like I have other Buff Bunny collection leggings that hit higher than this. So I do like the length of this. I honestly also don't like for my leggings to really fit me all the way down. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. So I'm perfectly okay with this hitting me seven eighths length. And once again, my leg inseam length is also 31 inches. So leggings hit me seven eighths pretty much all the time. But turning to the back, we have a V seam down the back and the glute seam is not like shortened at all, but I do still have like great glute separation. And the logo is embroidered, guys. Lo and freaking behold, it is possible to have a different logo than just the heat pressed silver logo. And I love that little bit of detail because it just elevates the slugging so much in addition to these like really thin seams as well. So the seams actually remind me a lot of the butter legging seams. Let's go ahead and do a little squat test for you guys. We can see it. Well, y'all let me know. This legging generally fits very true to size. I'm typically a size extra small in Buff Bunny collection. It's giving me like a low to moderate support. I don't even want to say medium. I feel like moderate is in between low and medium. So definitely low to moderate on the scale. If you're in between, I would definitely say to size down in this legging just to give you a little bit more like cinch. I personally do not think that the top seam really digs in or gives like muffin top at all. Um, I think it just sits really nicely there while giving you just the slightest bit of that like tummy compression, just the slightest bit. Overall, the legging still has enough give to it where I feel like if you were to size down, if in between, then you would be fine. Now that we are done with new Brie, let's go ahead and talk about the next section, next fabric. So we have the butter fabric. This launched last year in the cake collection, I believe. And it was a fan favorite ever since. We love the butter fabric. This is the low compression version of new Brie. I've always said that if new Brie wanted to be less compression, a little bit less dense. This is what the butter fabric is. It is very wearable, very low support, low compression, and just kind of like lays and molds to your body really well. It is a little bit similar to Vitality's Cloud 2, but Cloud 2 is a little bit more molding to your body. I'll post a picture up here for you guys to see of what that fabric looks like, but comparing that to Nubri, you can just tell that there are a little bit less of those brushed fibers being very visible. So I only have one product in the butter fabric, and it's going to be the Butter Plunge Bra in Moody Blue size small. Now guys, if baby T was a baby bra, I feel like this is it. I don't know how, I don't know how to explain that, but it's just giving like girly baby bralette. You know what I'm saying? So the plunging v-neckness of this is even more than <laughs> the girlfriend sports bra that we've seen. It does have removable cup pads, which thank God it does. In addition to the plunging v-neck, it also actually crosses just ever so slightly right down here. And then at the very bottom of this bra, we do have a bottom band. So the bottom band is very similar to the strap of it, where it's just a thin elasticated band that cups your bust, which is kind of surprising that it rides up. Like you can definitely see my under boob in this bra ever so slightly. Whereas in the girlfriend bra, you didn't. 
So I'm just confused. I don't know how that's possible. As you're standing straight, the bottom of the bra band just kind of like disappears. There is ruching at the bottom of the sports bra, but because once again, it rides up and then kind of folds underneath your bust, you can't really see it all too well. It is otherwise a very simple silhouette in the front. It's just giving bra. You know what I'm saying? It's giving bra, bralette. These straps are on the thinner side, definitely stretchy and adjustable. So if we turn to the side, we have the Buff Bunny Collection raised Rob Roy's logo on the left hand and the back is completely essentially backless. It's even more scandalous than the girlfriend sports bra. Even though the girlfriend sports bra literally just has one more strap, it has four straps instead of three. But for some reason, it's just a little bit too um scandalous for leaving the house with. So I haven't worked out in this bra yet. I don't know if I will. We have two straps that are adjustable and then the back band is literally just the band in the front but continue to the back and it is adjustable. And overall, just a very dainty, minimal bralette. I feel like it'd be really Really cute if I wore this with a shrug or a bolero. Let me actually wear it. Hold up. Okay. What do we think? I'm like, it's a little bit more coverage, like just up here in my clavicle <laughs> at least. And this is what the back is looking like. So, okay, I could see myself wearing this to the gym. It obviously still shows clavage, but I feel a little bit more covered up and a little bit safer. Here is your gape test. I feel safe in a size small. I will say to size up if in between. I sized up versus down. I like the coverage of the bra overall. I like how there's no side boob hanging out. It's a low support sports bra, so very similar to the girlfriend sports bra in the sense that if you were to size down, you would just have less boob coverage overall. It honestly, at the end of the day, depends on whether you prioritize coverage or more support with as much support as a minimal bra like this could ever possibly provide for you. But in my opinion, I would size up rather than down if you're in between sizes for this bra, but otherwise stick true to size. Alrighty friends, moving on to our third section, we have Seamless. So they are launching the BBL Seamless Legging once again in this collection in the newer colors and whatnot. They are to be paired with the new Shape Seamless Sports Bra. And I will say this fabric is not the same as the BBL fabric because I compared this fabric to the Scoop Seamless Sports Bra fabric. I I had a couple questions about it on my IG live whenever I did it a couple days ago and I didn't know how to answer at that point because I was like mm, it doesn't feel the same actually it, it feels a little bit different but I didn't want to say something incorrectly so I just waited until this review and to confirm it does feel different and it's because it is different this fabric has polyester in it whereas the other scoop seamless sports bra did not so the other scoop seamless bra feels a lot plushier a lot thicker and denser than this and it's a lot softer as well whereas this feels a little bit on the rougher side a little bit more on the stiff side I don't like the fabric composition on this at all because it just feels a little bit itchy but the overall seamless material as a whole at least for the legging it's a little bit difficult to describe the seamless fabric because I feel like now they're obviously different with every single piece so the BBL seamless legging has a super thick plushy waistband and the body of the legging is going to be very very thin comparable to Alpha Elite's Amplify just in the sense that it's very body molding the scoop seamless bra once again is very plushy, very dense, and it feels similar to the ribbed waistband of the BBL legging, whereas this is different. It's a little bit more rough. There's a lot higher polyester percentage in this one than there is in the scoop bra, seeing as there's zero polyester in the scoop bra. So let's talk about the actual sports bra itself. Once again, this is the Shape Seamless Sports Bra in the color chamomile. In a size small, there's this little like chevron detailing where the ribbed fabric kind of comes down into the center of the bust to give the illusion of like a center seam. You also have this super unique band down here where the band actually comes up into a V. I actually picked this set on purpose, not only to go with the girlfriend sports bra, but also to go with this bra because I knew that this waistband would be so like chef's kiss goes so well with the bra. Yeah, the band is stretchy. The straps are stretchy and there are dual straps, you guys. I don't notice anything with these straps like threatening to slide down at all. It really is just more so the fabric that I kind of have like an, an ick with because it just does feel very like itchy and rough and just not soft at all. I don't know if it's also because of the texture, but I can't even say that because the other Scoop Seamless Sports Bra had texture in the ribbing, but it still felt very comfortable on the body. Whereas this, it literally just feels rough. But I do love the detail of this bra. It's simple while having a lot of like ribbing interest to it, I guess you could say. In a size small, there's no gaping whatsoever. The bras in this collection so far are fitting very true to size, in my opinion. The dual straps meet all the way at the back and there is no adjustability to this bra, even though there is a lot of stretch to these straps. It kind of goes down into this low back and meets all the way at the bottom to create that V. And the Buff Bunny Collection logo is sewn into the seamless fabric right there as well. So very open, once again, very flattering. And I just 
just think it looks so feminine and girly, which we love. It does have removable cup pads, but the sides of the bra, there's actually an opening like to the back as well. So I thought that the bra could be reversible so you can wear this portion in the front. I tried that and um everything was out. So <laughs> the bra is not reversible. The back is just way too like wide of a V to where my nips were literally like they were out. So yeah, there is an insert for the back, but I don't think it's meant to be reversible. <laughs> I would definitely say that it is a medium compression on me. I still have some bouncing, but I do feel safe and secure in this bra. If you're in between sizes, I would say to size up because with this fabric being a little bit more on the stiffer side and just a little bit more on the rough side, um, I feel like sizing down would just make everything a little bit too tight. Whereas with sizing up, you do get more coverage in this bra as a whole and a lot less digging in. Like I don't have any digging in whatsoever. Moving on to our next fabric section we have the fleece line section so i don't think this fabric has a name just yet but the colorado pieces are going to be fleece lined this is my first time ever trying a fleece lined piece so these specific bottoms and the zip jacket that i'm about to try on it does have two layers right so the top layer aka the like external layer is going to be a matte performance fabric it just feels very slick and slippery to the body and i think the buffeting collection team mentioned that this was meant for cardio especially where you need to be a little bit more on the warm side because this is a very warm <laughs> liking. The inner layer, I'll post a picture up here for you guys to see, is going to be a very lightly brushed fabric. So it feels a little bit similar to like the Newbury fabric in the sense that it just is a very powdery brushed fabric, but it's not gonna be like super thick by any means to where it adds a super bulky layer to the fabric. This is solely meant to be worn during the like colder months during winter time because even right now, I'm starting to get like a little bit hot, you know what I'm saying? So it is doing Doing its job. Let's go ahead and actually talk about this piece as a whole, but this is going to be the Colorado Pocket Legging. I'm wearing the color Mocha Berry in a size extra small. There are a lot of technical details that we have to talk about with this piece, starting off with the waistband. So it is considered to be a high-waisted legging, has a top seam all throughout the entirety of the legging just to keep it up. Because this legging is a little bit more on the denser side, I can definitely see how it could slide down over time. So the top seam is just to add that little bit of support, and I do think think that this needed the top seam. As you can see, there is a little bit of stretch here, right? So it is fitting very nicely, but yeah, with the body of this, it's giving medium to high with the waistband being more so on the medium side. So the side seams are thinner, kind of resembles the Rosa and the butter leggings. And then it does have a pocket on both sides that are once again, fleece lined. And then the top of it is heat bonded. So the fabric is folded over on itself and kind of like glued together. It looks very seamless, doesn't look bulky because once again, the fabric is already so dense that any minor detail could make it look even bulkier but I think that the choice of having this heat bonded in addition to these thinner seams makes it less bulky in the appearance if that makes any sense but there is no front seam at all I'm not experiencing any camel oh perfect I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and it fits comfortably in there so we love to see it turning to the back it just has a slightly tapered glute seam here it actually does not hit the top of my glutes it's cutting them off just a tad bit it has the buff bunny collection raised rubberized logo right there and i think with how dense this fabric is it does have ample cellulite coverage in addition to that this legging actually has a little like stirrup detail i don't know when i would ever use this feature but a lot of the yoga pilates girls were saying that this would be super helpful for them i would probably make this little stirrup detail go like this and luckily it just kind of tucks itself seamlessly back there that stirrup detail folded up isn't like annoying it doesn't look weird in my opinion Alrighty, let's see here jeez it's difficult to get that in because of the fleece are we seeing anything I just did hammies yesterday, so I'm not doing too well right now. This legging fits super true to size in my opinion. Like I said, a lot of these pieces are fitting very true to size. If you're in between sizes though, I would say to size up rather than down just because like there is a lot of compression in the body of this legging. Even though this is a moderate support overall, if you are the type of person to not really like anything pudging over for your stomach area, especially with this top seam, I think sizing up rather than down would be the move for this legging. But otherwise, I really, really like this. Okay, now before we move on to the Colorado zip jacket, I'm gonna just need y'all to look at her in the silhouette of it being hung on the hook because it's giving body. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, she is snatched. I'm not gonna lie. Introducing the Colorado zip jacket in mocha berry size extra small. Guys, when I tell you 
I love this jacket to pieces. I feel like there was just so much thought behind the design of this jacket and all the features and whatnot. First of all, it does fit a lot more compressively than the Phantom jacket does in the sleeves and the body as a whole. I feel like in the Phantom jacket, you could still tell that there was a little bit of excess fabric in the sleeves, judging by how they bunched up. And then whenever I zipped it up, you can tell that there was a little bit of bunching in the abdominal region as well. It wasn't hugging my body super tightly or anything. It just kind of laid on me and is a really nice piece to go on runs with. But this is definitely fitting a little bit on the tighter side, which I think is very necessary given the fact that like it is fleece lined. It's meant to keep you warm and keep you warm. It did. Once again, I'll pop the picture up here of what that fleece inner lining looks like, but it's very slight. Definitely adds just a little bit of like density to the jacket and a little bit of weight without being super bulky. It does come with like this mock neck detail up here. It isn't tight on the neck at all. So I definitely feel like I'm able to breathe. It also has a little like zipper pocket up there too, just to make your zipper not really like be abrasive onto your neck, which I love. The zipper pocket is laser cut and you can tell that there is a raw hem there, but nothing else in this jacket is like a laser cut detail. Zipper is the same mocha berry colorway, has the little B logo on it. And then overall, there are a lot of like beautiful seams going down the bodice of this to just really give you some shape. So it kind of like comes into your bust and then back out at the hips. And what I love about this is that it's very similar to the timeless jacket in the sense that the zippers are sewn into that side seam. So it doesn't look bulky. It's very seamless looking and ugh, you can't even tell that there's a freaking pocket there. I love it. Once you zip this down, it's like pretty much the only time that you could tell that there was actually a pocket there. And the pockets are fleece lined. And the seams in the front are different from the back because as we can see here on the side, there is this little like piping detail that once again is very similar to the butter legging and the rosa legging too. It just gives a little bit more shape to the jacket as well. Let's talk about these sleeves because it is very compressive to like actually put on and it's hugging everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you could see my delts a little bit from here too. It does have a pocket on the left-hand side that's actually really big. It spans all the way to the inside seam of this jacket. So I feel like you're able to fit a lot of things in this portion alone. And once again, lays really flat against your skin. We do have thumb holes for these sleeves here. And my only qualm about this jacket is that these thumb holes are the kind that are like a little bit abrasive onto like this portion of your thumb. And because of that, you can actually already tell that the seam right there is starting to pop. And that's not an issue that I'm experiencing on that side only. It's also happening on the right hand side too. You can just tell that the seam is exposed right there. So it's not loose at all, but I can feel that it's threatening to come out, especially with this left hand side, because you can see it in the middle as well. With the way that this was designed, you can't really pull this up and have it like this because this whole cuff is meant to sit underneath your wrist. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you're like moving your arm around, it's just more natural for the jacket cuff to sit right here. So because of that, I just feel like there needs to be a little bit more length added to this thumb hole. So that way this could sit a little bit higher and therefore not dig in as much to your thumb. Other than that, it does have a rather thick cuff. It comes with its own little built-in hand Warmer! Are you freaking kidding me? I love this detail because like I told y'all, I run cold. And whenever I'm running or like in cold weather, I hate it. I cannot stand when my ears, my hands, and my toes are cold. So this alleviates a little portion of that and I freaking love it. It's also fleece lined. It's just warmth all around. I'm so hot right now. I'm sweating and I love it. It's just too good. Turning to the back, we also have those similar seams going down as well where it kind of like comes into the smallest portion of your waist and then comes back out at the bottom right there. But otherwise, no other details on this jacket. Covers I would say a solid like three quarters of my booty. If you are in between sizes, sizing kind of depends on how you want the jacket to fit. Extra small is my true size and I feel comfortable sticking with the size. If you are worried about your arms being a little bit too suffocated, I would say to size up if you're in between sizes, but in general, it is true to size. Alrighty guys, moving on to our second to last section, we have the Air Knit fabric. This fabric was also launched last year and it's meant to be more of a lifestyle type of fabric. It is slightly brushed, a little bit on the cooling side and extremely, extremely thin. I love this fabric so much. It was actually in the Bolero that I was wearing earlier and I wore it to the gym yesterday. If you know me, I am not a sleeves cover type of gal. I find myself to get very overheated very quickly whenever I'm wearing any 
anything that covers my arms. So because of that, I don't like to wear tops or long sleeves as cover-ups to the gym. However, in Airnet, because it is so lightweight and breathable, I feel like I can wear it for both in and out of the gym. And they have a couple of new silhouettes. So let's go ahead and talk about it. We have here the Airnet Bandeau. It is the first bandeau that they launched in a couple years now. And I'm obviously wearing the color black in a size small. Now, a couple of things. Let me actually pull up the PDF because they mentioned that there's like a little bit of stitching going on here to where it's supposed to add more support. They said that there is a fourth of an inch elastic at the inner edge of the neckline for higher support and a one inch elastic at the inner edge of the hem to support the bust. I feel the elastic for sure because there is stretch to the top of this bra, obviously to like get it over your head and whatnot, but there is no silicone lining. And I'm like, guys, why are we launching bandos without any silicone to line the bra? Like we need that additional level of like stickiness. So that way it actually stays put. I, to this day, have not seen a better constructed sports bra bandeau than the Crop Shop Boutique bandeau. That bra is just done so well. It's a high support on me and it just does not move whatsoever. It has silicone to just really keep the girls in, whereas with this, there's just no silicone. But let's just go ahead and talk details. Once again, at the inner portion of this top band, there is a seam detailing here to keep the girls up. And I definitely feel the elastic portion of it. The bottom band is on the softer side. So this top layer of fabric is actually folded underneath. There is roughly a one inch elastic underneath here. Like I feel it. it does come with removable cup pads. Otherwise, it is a rather simple silhouette. It's just a bandeau, but it kind of tapers onto the side and then to the back to really keep it open. Let's go ahead and do this test for y'all. First of all, the game test. Nothing is falling out whatsoever. I do feel held in. So like, let me not dog on it too much, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do any like pull up motions because see, like it's already kind of coming down. I have a little bit of a bulge right here and it's just not the move. You know what I'm saying? Lateral raises. And this is a very loose interpretation of a lateral raise. Okay. I don't actually do it like that, but any swinging motion of my arms is going to make this go down. And as we can see that little inner elastic at the top band is already folding down. So yeah, I don't like that at all. And I just know that I'm going to constantly have to adjust this sports bra. So Dude, yeah, literally. So I'm not the biggest fan of this bandeau. I wanted to like it so much more than I actually do. The last Airnet piece that I have is the Airnet Bolero Shrug. I thought that the other one that I wore with the actual neck was the Bolero and then this was the Shrug, but this is called the Airnet Bolero Shrug. I'm wearing it in the color black in a size small. Now I got a lot of questions comparing this Bolero to the Vitality Cloud 2 Shrug. And right off the bat, I will say that I do like the Vitality one a little bit more. I will post pictures up here of the comparisons for you guys to see, but you can clearly tell that there's just a lot more body in the Vitality Cloud 2 Shrug where it covers a little bit of your armpit. The neckline is a little bit smaller. Sleeves are also longer. In addition to it being longer in the back as a whole, I feel like with this shrug, it's just a little bit too tiny. Like it's just sleeves. Straight up, it is just sleeves. I hope that comparison helped you guys. Let's go ahead and actually talk details about this shrug. It has a rather wide, I guess like neckline, if you could call this a neckline. If we compare this to the Vitality one, then this is a little bit wider. It does have a seam along the edge of this entire shrug. So it's a little bit more structured than the Vitality shrug is. I feel like the Vitality one, it was a little bit more billowy, a little bit more loose, but because this is double lined and it has that seam there, there's just a little bit more structure to this one. The sleeves are also shorter as well. So I do feel that little bit of like abrasiveness in the thumb holes once again but otherwise this is very stretchy very lightweight i can definitely wear this to the gym it really just hits your upper back whereas the vitality one definitely covers like your mid back no other details if you're in between sizes i would definitely say to size up i'm wearing this in a size small and the vitality shrug i was wearing an extra small so you can tell the difference between those two sizes very clearly despite this one being a whole size bigger definitely size up if in between i feel like it'll give you a little bit more room in the sleeves as well and then and just a little bit more like coverage as much coverage as a size up could give you in this little silhouette already friends and the very last section the very last fabric is reserved for a little capsule collection if you may and it's called the threads capsule fabric let's go ahead and talk details about this fabric it is a 68 percent cotton 20 percent modal and 12 percent 
polyester blend. I would agree with everything that Buff Bunny Collection mentions this fabric to be because it is very lightweight. I definitely feel like the plushiness, fleecy bits of it all. I don't see any of like the terry bits. I feel like terry fabric is typically shown by the like towel type of hand feel, but I don't really see that in this at all where I can see it a lot more in let's say like honor active all day lounge type of fabric where you can definitely tell that it is a fleece lining, but it has those like rough lines of it still looking like a towel, I guess, if that makes any sense. This doesn't have that at all. It literally just feels super lightweight, definitely a very stretchy cotton material. Whenever I first put this on, I was like, this feels exactly like my $25 Target jacket in the sense that it is super lightweight, very bouncy, and just like a comfortable all season type of piece as a whole. This just feels, in my opinion, a little bit cheaper. If this is as expensive as any of the jackets that we've seen before, I would be very, very shocked. Not that it's cheap, but it just doesn't feel like the most luxurious type of like lounge fabric that we're used to seeing with Buff Bunny Collection. I feel like I would have liked this more if it was a bit thicker and denser, but it's just so lightweight and so thin. But anywho, let's talk details about this jacket. It's literally just a zip up jacket. So there isn't gonna be anything super like revolutionary to this at all. It does zip up all the way. It has a Buff Bunny Collection decal on the zipper as well. And then a very big hood, which y'all know me. I love me a big hood. Also, I'm wearing a size extra small in this jacket. It already definitely fits oversized, but I just like to be swallowed by my jacket. So I would have preferred a bigger size in this, but this is what my true size extra small in tops looks like on me. Has these big pockets that are lined with that same fleece, thick ripped cuffs that also match the ribbing at the bottom right there. And then it has the unisex Buff Bunny Collection logo on the sleeve as well. This logoing was seen in the more recent Buff Pups collection. If you guys saw that collection over on their socials, it launched a couple weeks back. And they did mention that the hoodies in this collection were modeled by the hoodies that were launched in Buff Pups too. So if you were looking to get one for your mans, then the sizing is unisex and you could easily, you know, stick with that sizing if you did get something from the Buff Pups capsule. Turning to the back, no seam details or anything at all. It's literally just like your basic jacket. Sizing is completely dependent upon your preference. I personally would have liked to get like at least a size medium in this for a very oversized fit. All right, guys, moving on to our very last item. We have the Threads Straight Leg Sweatpant, also in black, size extra small. This was quite possibly the biggest disappointment of the entire collection because I thought that they offered links in this. I don't know why I thought that, but I just figured, you know what, it's Buffy Collection, like they're obviously gonna offer different lengths. No, this is a 32 inch inseam. It is so freaking long, it's dragging on the floor. I just don't understand why we are launching straight leg sweatpants and not offering different lengths. With that being said, I can't wear this. Like I literally cannot wear this out because it's just gonna drag on the floor, be super dirty. So I'm really disappointed because these are actually so comfortable, but um, the silhouette is simple. There's nothing crazy going on. It has drawstrings that are inside. So if I were to wear this normally, then this is what it looks like. And it does run big, like, Oh my gosh, it is so roomy in here, so big. I would definitely say to size down if you're in between sizes. Like I know it's supposed to be a little bit more on the relaxed side, but yeah, it's like kind of sitting at a low waist on me. And maybe that's also why the length is a little bit on the longer side, but you can definitely turn this inside out, adjust it with the drawstrings as well. And the bottom of the drawstring cord isn't metal. It's made of plastic, which is maybe also another reason why I think it's a little bit on the cheaper side because I'm like, mm. the details, it's just not it for me. You know what I'm saying? Let me actually make this high waisted and see if that changes up the length a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's more that's definitely more doable than what it was before, but still I don't know, like it's just still a little bit too long. It does have pockets on both sides, Buff Bunny Collection embroidered logo on the left-hand side right there. And then this is what the bag is looking like. Yeah, if you're in between sizes, I would definitely size down just because it is so, so roomy. And the Buff Bunny Collection team did confirm that across all sizes, the leg inseam is a 32 inch leg inseam. Every single time I film with a dog, Nala is always standing right here and not facing you guys. This dog is so funny. Are you so funny? <laughs> well, anywho, hopefully she stops being weird. Now that we are done with the actual review portion, I wanted to go through and discuss some of the items that I didn't get and just some of the feedback that I've already heard from some of the athletes. I don't know if this is actually going to be helpful or if it's going to be more so boring and mundane because all the athletes are going to talk about these pieces in their own respective reviews anyway. If you guys want me to do this for my reviews moving forward, then like definitely let me know. First and foremost, let's start with leggings. We have the Rosa bootcut legging and it is offered in three inseam lengths. And I think that's why I got confused with the thread 
Ed's straight leg sweatpant because I thought that these sweatpants were going to be offered in three different lengths. That's on me and my Delulu brain. A couple things that I've heard about this legging. And first of all, I didn't pick it up because y'all already know how I feel about the Rosa leggings. They are ultra high waisted, which with my torso, it was never going to work out anyway. But in addition to that, I feel like the Rosa legging, even though it's made of Nubri, just like the Legacy legging is, it slides down so much more, you guys. It's actually ridiculous. Whereas the Legacy legging actually stayed up on me despite it having the same rise in their waistband. So I don't, I don't know. But as we can see in this picture, it's not a flare. It's a boot cut, meaning that the flare portion is a lot more narrow. It to me looks like a baggy legging. It literally just looks like a baggy legging and the slit is on the inside, which is a really interesting design choice. I don't know why they would do it on the inside. I personally would feel like it'd be so much more flattering if they did the slit on the outside to show off your sneakers if you're wearing some cute sneakers. And I know that if, you know, Beverly and Heidi are watching this, they're going to be like, I'm going to fight you. But um, it is tight on the calves. And I know Beverly mentioned in their behind the design video that that was intentional because it was a boot cut. They wanted it to be a little bit more fitted at the calves. But some of the feedback that the athletes were saying was that because it was tight at the calves, it started to ride up throughout the day and become high waters on them. So definitely keep that in mind if you have bigger calves that there is a chance of them riding up and becoming high waters on you. But next up, we have the Dream Heathered Legging. This first launched in Genesis. A lot of the feedback that I saw from the team was that there was a lot of CT going on and the fabric, it felt a lot more cottony. I hate leggings that are like that. I feel more so on the cottony loungy side. So I was never going to gravitate to that piece to begin with, but just kind of hearing them confirm that it does in fact feel a little bit more cottony, a little bit more loungy while still being compressive, but then giving you camel, I was like, eh, I'll get it the next time around to review for you guys, just so that way I can get a review up there. Next up, we have the waffle knit leggings. So this is literally like, if you imagine a crisscross little waffle situation, what a waffle looks like is what is on this legging. <laughs> it's made of a knit jacquard. I don't really know what that's supposed to fit or feel like. And the feedback that I've been hearing so far is that the waffle knit actually snags super easily. Be aware of that because a lot of the girls were saying that whenever they started putting them on, it would snag with like their rings or their nails or whatever. Definitely a more delicate type of legging. Moving on, we have once again, the BBL seamless legging. There are no changes to this legging. I don't know why they listed it as a high rise because in the last collection, they said it was a mid rise. You already know how I feel about this legging. I freaking hate the changes. The area between the bottom of the waistband to the top of the gusset is literally negative. In addition to that, the under glute contour seam, I know it's supposed to look like a glute shadow to make the illusion of your glutes being bigger, but it is so sheer when you squat. I just don't understand why the team would approve of that because it's, it literally shears out. You can see skin underneath and especially in a color like berry ice, bro. Come on now, like we have the Dream Heathered Sports Bra. So a lot of the feedback that I heard about this bra in the past was that the V neck was way too wide. So a lot of the gals were experiencing a lot of like nippage where their boobs were just kind of like falling out and whatnot. And their areolas were, you know, getting really close to showing if not actually showing. So I don't think they changed that at all. At least I don't think it said anything in the FAQ section. Moving on, we have the Waffle Knit Bralette, another very minimal sports bra, a lot of adjustability and these straps are actually made of a silky type of material. So just think of any typical bra bra that you've ever had with these silky straps and this is gonna be it. And then next up, we have the Dream Heathered Bodysuit. The seam detailing on this actually reminds me a lot of the Vitality Cloud 2 jumpsuit in the sense that it has like those corset lines running down the torso, the very deep V seam, although I think Vitality sits a little bit higher on your waist. Other than that, I didn't really hear anything else from the athletes about the rest of these pieces. So there is nothing there to report. If I do hear anything else, I will obviously put it in the pinned comments down below or in like my little YouTube community section as well as Discord and my Instagram. So that way you have all channels of knowing <laughs> any updates that I have about any of these pieces. But that does conclude it for this review, guys. I know that it was a long one. I can already tell that this is going to be my longest review that I've ever done. I really, really hope that you enjoyed. As always, I hope that even more than that, you found it helpful. If you did, launch is on Saturday, March 2nd at 1 p.m. Central Time. Code Tracy, say you 10% off, supports me and my relationship with the team. And I appreciate you for using my code so much more than you know. Y'all are always DMing me, telling me your orders or what you got. And I'm always like, please update me about how you like everything because I just want to know, you know what I'm saying? But if you haven't already, give this video a like, comment down below if you have any questions, what you're planning on snagging from this launch, what your thoughts are about this launch. Definitely follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for more content on the daily. And I will talk to you guys so, so soon. So bye.